I'm from Rome. My name is Carolina De Luca and I teach public speaking and English composition. I feel like it's different here because well the school is much smaller in the sense that you have a class size from 12 to like 20 kids and each of those kids are from different countries. So when we're having discussions in class, you're having all of these opinions and stories being shared from all these different places in the world. Each person was from a different part of the world. Like for example, we had someone from Ecuador, people from Iran, Italy, US and different places like that and it was just a really nice atmosphere and a great place to learn more about different cultures. You're really getting this very broad, diverse kind of experience and take on your education in a way that I don't feel like many people get in America. The school environment seems a lot more including. There's just like a sense of togetherness, I feel like, especially among the student body at JCU because you're out somewhere and like you see someone from JCU, they're like, oh, you're from JCU? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> and then you have a friend for the night. People really enjoying life in the sense where you're not just going to get a coffee, you get your coffee and then you go, you're talking to the guy who makes your coffee and you're going on your walks and you're talking to people in the streets and every single interaction you have that's a new relationship formed and people just really take life slow in the best ways here. While you're learning about yourself, you're also learning about so many things that I would have never been able to learn in the United States. Like I would have never been able to take like an Italian society class about sociology and be able to go on site and to actually like observe the lifestyle. I'm definitely not the same person that I was when I first came to John Cabot. For someone who teaches religion and global politics, this is one of the most uh, interesting cities to do, uh, to do that. So um, Rome has always had a special place in my, uh, in my research. There was a really great on-site Roman monuments course that I took first year where they take you all around the city, you're able to you know, really study the architecture of the Colosseum and just be there for like hours just studying the different, you know, styles of columns, the different arches, the different structures that have changed over time. And then when your friends and your family come, you get to be like the tour guide. Uh, I think our students do well after John Cabot in part because they have a sophistication because of that exposure to intellectual diversity, international diversity, which is just very hard to find elsewhere. And that's the same for the Italian students as well getting to see different viewpoints too. I feel like in, in the U.S., if I was going to a school in the U.S., there's a lot of like-minded people. And here, I'm going to a place where everybody has a different perspective, everybody has a different upbringing and outlook on life, and we all get to kind of come together and, and learn from each other. So, I really love it. Students who are initially very introverted, to see them open up, and to sort of gift us with uh, their voices and their progress and their uh, beautiful speeches. By the end of the year, usually there's a very big turnaround and that's, um, that feels great. Yeah, I think both for the student and for the professor. Being in such a diverse community like this one and getting out of, of your hometown or even your home country is an awesome awesome thing to do when you're in college and, and you're here to learn, you know, and you're learning in so many different ways.